to ex to be able to buy this obtain or acquire the same computer and then they may when they get the same computer they may be able to create the same function or the, create the same service or they create the same value that you are getting from the computer so however when you as a firm go beyond acquiring the computer to add a particular skill to it add a particular um personal personal asset or management um, management skill or management knowledge or managerial uh, uh, um, skills or set of skills to that particular computer what happens is that you create a functionality around it for example if you have got very in, in, very unique marketing insights and you add it to a marketing software you may be able to make the right market projections and market segmentation to be able to deliver your products in the marketplace however if a firm having a firm acquiring the same marketing software may not be able to de deliver the same value because it doesn't have the same set of skills that is being applied to the particular software so you creating a functionality around the resource is more important than having the resource that is rare the resource generates and sustains its value to you if it continues to be heterogeneous in this functionality in the marketplace so don't look for rarity in the artifact as a resource itself whether it's a tangible or intangible artifact but look for the rarity in the functionality that is created around the resource now one other dimension that one other attribute that the resource based theory states is that it should be imp the resource should be imperfectly imitable or not strategically substitutable what does it mean imperfectly imitable means i shouldn't be able to be copied that means that if your competitors are able to copy the same strategy that you may have or the same way of you doing things in your firm they may be able to create the same functionality that you have for example if they are able to identify that it is a particular manager that is creating is, is sustaining a particular functionality in your firm and they are able to hire off or poach that manager from your firm what happens is that they may be able to use the the, the manager they are put to create the same or copy and create the same skills set of skills of functionality in the firm which may be competitive to yours in order for a resource to be imperfectly imitable there are three factors that bunny states one imperfect imitability is defined by unique historical conditions that means that at a particular point in time in history you were able to acquire this resource or create a functionality around this resource which are which those historical conditions or those unique conditions have changed as of now for example if you inherited a piece of land in the 70s today if that environment uh, that particular land or the location of that land has become a business district the value that this land gives you is higher than the value it was giving you in the 70s because of historical conditions which are unique that you acquired that land in the 70s you don't have that same cost you know i'm not going to incur that same cost of a kind uh, uh, the, 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 the you may you know you will not in, incur that large cost of acquiring the, the same land piece of land in in, the, in in 10 years or 20 years after but someone if a competitor comes into the business environment and is going to purchase land because he doesn't have that he was not able to acquire the land in the 70s he may be buying the land at a very high price as of now which such costs you may avoid so because of unique historical conditions you may be able to have acquired some resources which is valued would have could have tripled or could have been doubled as of today's present business environment and your competitors don't have the same access to it or don't have the same access to those opportunities so to cost your cost um, your competitors more to locate themselves or open a factory in the same location that you own the land i hope you understand that the second factor that enables a resource to become imperfectly imitable is if 
the resource itself is causally ambiguous that the firm itself does not understand how does this resource okay okay how it deploys this resource if there's some ambiguity concerning and that's the causality of a resource or how a resource gen- helps the firm to generate value it becomes very difficult for that resource to be copied because the firm itself cannot understand it the all the invisible actions that that interf- interfere or influence that particular resource in creating that value so if a firm is trying to copy it that means that the firm should have the firm who owns the resource should have understood it enough for somebody to be able to push the understanding or copy the understanding or be able to rent the understanding from one of the members or the employees of the firm. If the resource is causal, the resource impact or influence or usage in the firm is causally ambiguous, the firm who wants to comp- copy it cannot be able to copy it. The last one is if it is socially complex that means that it's embedded in the systems of flows or the culture of the organization in such that even if you hire off them some of the employees or the firm and take them to your firm if you're not able to create the same culture or the social complexity that exists in the mother firm the, co- the resource that you have tried to steal or you have tried to copy away will not be able to generate the same value for you so there are three factors one being his unique historical conditions two being number two being the causal ambiguity and the last one being social complexity beyond that the last attribute is the resource itself should not be strategically substitutable that means that you should not be able to substitute the resource in whichever form it is that means if you create, create um, substitutes in the marketplace it should not be able to generate the same value and generate give you the same rents or uh, profit as compared to what the firm the mother firm has now let's use an example to explain you know Casa Preco, one of the leading firms uh, one of Ghana's club hundred firms when Casa Preco began its activities in 2000 the firm was formed in 1998 but in around 2000 and 2003 the firm had to change its business its business operations from from handling all the distribution the sales the marketing the promotion to outsourcing the distribution and then focusing on production marketing and then and sales so they are sold the distribution one of the reasons why they are sold the distribution because the firm had to make a decision concerning the increasing competition that was coming into a market so they had to then refocus their strength into what they can do best that's producing and then promotion or marketing of their own products why am i saying this the firm began with a a unique way of branding its products in the 80s amidst all the other firms that were foreign casa Proco developed a social connotation around its products such that the products were named with Ghanaian names or maybe with local or local themes so some of the products were named after um, um, a chief some of the products were named af- uh, were given some social connotation that people could relate to and what com- in competing with foreign brands a, a product that had a social connotation was easier for to the Ghanaian community to accept and to relate to and some of the foreign companies started creating and rebranding their products to have social connotations so there's a product that came up called Boswe, which was competing with some of the Casa Precos products that were already in the market in response to most of these marketing challenges and other challenges that were in the marketplace Casa Precos thought about redefining itself first of all taking out distribution and focusing on marketing and production and now also extending its marketing services not only on offline but also also into the, the internet now they created a website started putting up branding the website with some of their uh, some of their own adverts that you could watch on tv you could watch them on, them on their website they could be they also put in um, downloads of wallpapers on their website and they also created a whole